slap. Let me ask you a question. Do you know if snakes lay eggs or give birth to live young? I was curious myself when I saw a video of a snake writhing and giving birth to many baby snakes. I wondered why such a strange thing was happening. After researching, I discovered that snakes not only lay eggs but also have live-bearing species, and many snake species in the wild have unique reproductive methods like this. In today's video, let's explore together 5 incredibly unusual snake species that give birth to live young in the natural world. Without keeping you waiting, let's dive right into today's video. First of all, I will explain a little to those of you who might have questions about the difference between pythons and snakes, because in this video, I will address the reproductive methods of both species. If you think that pythons and snakes are two different types, you are also mistaken, as they both belong to the same snake family. According to scientists, pythons are larger in size, but they lack venom and fangs. However, they have a way of hunting by using their extremely strong bodies to kill their prey by constriction until it dies. So, please remember this. I must admit that there was a time when I saw a video shared online showing a snake in distress giving birth to a litter of offspring. Wow, just wow. Why does something like this happen? Many people believe that egg-laying snakes are non-venomous, while live-bearing snakes are venomous. There are many conflicting opinions on this matter, but the truth is, whether a snake is venomous or not doesn't depend on whether it gives birth to live young or lays eggs. So, what sets gives birth baby snakes different from egg-laying snakes? According to statistics, up to 70% of snake species in the world are egg-laying, while the remaining 30% give birth to baby. Experts classify snake families into three groups based on their reproductive methods. Oviparous snakes lay eggs. Viviparous snakes give birth to live young, and ovoviviparous snakes lay eggs but keep them inside their bodies. Therefore, when the baby snakes are born, they emerge from the mother's body while the eggshells remain inside the mother snake. Egg-laying snakes typically inhabit warm climates, while snake give birth and ovoviviparous groups tend to live in colder environments because the ground is not warm enough for egg incubation. For live-bearing snakes, after mating, the eggs are fertilized inside the female snake's body and develop into embryos. After about two to three months, the female snake gives birth to live offspring. So, which snake species typically give birth to live young? Let's explore five dangerous and frightening give birth snake species along with their surprising reproductive methods, brought to you by Magnifying Glass TV. First up is the highly venomous species, the red-tailed green rat snake. It is the most venomous species among green snake species. They have a green body and a reddish-brown tail, with a maximum length of about 60 centimeters and a weight of around 300 grams. I wonder if any of you have encountered this snake before. If you have seen this snake up close, please comment and let everyone know. This species is also unique because among green snake families, only the red-tailed green rat snake gives birth to live young. Unlike some other snake species that lay eggs, they retain the fertilized eggs within their bodies. During this time, the mother snake is most defensive and has the strongest venom. So, be cautious as this species often camouflages itself in trees and is difficult to detect. Next up is another highly venomous snake species from the sunny and windy desert regions. Second place goes to the rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes originate from countries in the Americas. This rattlesnake mother hasn't eaten throughout her entire pregnancy and will hibernate up to giving birth. This means that she may go over a year without eating. It's why female rattlesnakes in Canada only have babies every two or three years. They need time to regain the weight they have lost. In late September or early October, she retreats to a den to give birth to four to 12 live baby rattlesnakes. The newborns are miniature adults, equipped with fangs and venom, but no rattles. Instead of rattles, they're born with a small scale at the tip of their tail called a button. As the young snake grows and sheds its skin, a new piece of skin is added to the end of the button each time, creating the next segment of the rattle. Many of these baby rattlesnakes won't survive the winter because they don't get to eat before going into hibernation and they're vulnerable to predators. Especially, you need to pay attention that baby rattlesnakes are extremely dangerous because their venom output cannot be controlled when they bite. Next is a species of gigantic snake from the famous Amazon rainforest. So, let's learn about its reproduction method. In the third position, we have the anaconda snake, also known as the South American monster. It is also famous for its peculiar reproductive method, which is giving birth to live young. 
with a massive body reaching up to 9 meters in length and weighing up to 250 kilograms. Scientists have documented that each time a female anaconda gives birth, around 40 anaconda offspring emerge into the world. It's known that the eggs of this species are fertilized inside the mother's body and develop into embryos. The mother anaconda will nourish the young through uterine and uterine pouches. The embryos will be carefully nurtured inside the mother's body until she is ready to give birth. When it's time for giving birth, the baby snakes will emerge from the mother's body through the cloaca. The uterine pouches, typically orange in color, will rupture and the young will start being delivered. After giving birth, the mother snake will be exhausted and may even consume the ruptured uterine membranes of the young or those that didn't survive. This provides her with extra energy to support her reproductive process. The newborns, once welcomed into the world, will start moving and searching for their first meal on their own. They have to fend for themselves, seeking food and facing potential threats from predators or dangerous aquatic creatures from the moment they are born. Those fortunate enough to evade the clutches of death will find sustenance and embark on their journey to adulthood. Next up is a species of pythons with its own unique reproductive method. In the fourth position, we have the boa constrictor. This large snake, scientifically known as boa constrictor, is found all over the world, especially in Latin America. Just as its name suggests, the constrictor snake employs its muscular body to squeeze its prey causing bone fractures or suffocation that ultimately lead to the victim's demise. This species is also one of the snakes that give birth to live young rather than laying eggs. Similar to the anaconda, it also nurtures its offspring internally through live birth, and when the time comes, the baby snakes are born sequentially through the mother's cloaca. The newborn snakes are also surrounded by a wet and slippery membrane. These newborn constrictor snakes are remarkably robust, and they can swiftly overpower and consume a fully grown mouse almost instantly. Fifth position. Ovoviparous snakes. This position is occupied by an equally unusual snake species, the ovoviparous snake. It's known that these female snakes lay eggs and incubate them within their own bodies until the baby snakes are ready to hatch. When the time comes, the baby snakes emerge from the mother's body, leaving behind the eggshell. In some cases, there have been observations of ovoviparous snakes emerging from their mother's abdomen in a crowded manner and crawling away on their own. If you're afraid of snakes, you can consider moving to countries in the Antarctic region, New Zealand, or Ireland, as these three countries are considered to have no or very few snakes. Dear viewers, in the previous segment, we explored the five most dangerous and bizarre snake species that give birth to live young on the planet. How do you feel about this video? Don't forget to give a like to Magnifying Glass TV and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on the best videos every day. And now, goodbye and see you again.